Welcome back. Erlanger is adding a new service for North Georgia residents that promises faster medical service to the region's level one trauma center at Erlanger Medical Center. They've added Life Force 3 to its air ambulance fleet, and the new critical care in the air ambulance will soon be headed to its Calhoun, Georgia base. Joining us with all the details today, Susan Reeves. Susan is Life Force 3 RN, and Jerry McDonald, Life Force 3 paramedic. How y'all doing? Good. This has been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Now it's about to be reality. When is it going to be available to folks? The aircraft is complete, and we're waiting for the FAA and uh, to certify the aircraft, get all the paperwork done before we can accept delivery on it. Yeah. How long does that roughly take? Is it several months yet, or...? It's been in the works for several months now, and, and oh, hopefully okay. we're in the closing stages of it, and uh, within two weeks or so, hopefully we'll have it. All right, now, it, kind of walk us through what goes on. This covers how big of an area, because you're going to be stationed in Calhoun, Georgia, right? Yes, sir. They're at the airport, and we will have a 75 nautical mile ring around the airport that will be our coverage area. Oh, yeah. So what sort of things will you answer to? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming like major auto accidents would be one thing. Yes, major auto accidents, um, inter-facility transports from the emergency room or the ICUs and the smaller hospitals, um, strokes, cardiac um, emergencies. So it's not just auto accidents, because we think of that sometimes as the primary thing that you folks would do, but with all the services you have to do. And you've both been in this profession for a while, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Matter of fact, how, much, how big of a crew does it take you know, to set this up, because it's not just you two. There are a few other people as well. Um, there is a there's a pilot, of course, yeah. um, a paramedic, and a, and a nurse, and we all work as a team. Is, is this something you've looked forward to for years? Yes. You know, because if, if, if I've always said if this had been, you know, 20 years earlier, that's what I would have started training for, because I would think there's a certain level of excitement, but there's also a certain level of you're bringing immediate care to people care that's needed in, in critical moments. The training is how different or how difficult? Uh, well, to, to, and speaking for a paramedic, you know, we go to school for a year, become an EMT, then we go to school another year, become a paramedic, and then upon uh, getting the opportunity to be a flight medic with Life Force, we go through an additional six weeks of training in the classroom, and then an eight to ten week orientation period on the aircraft itself. Yeah. Now, you're an RN. Is, is the training also as rigorous? Um, yes, it's similar. Um, all the nurses are also EMTs. Um, most of them are paramedics also. And then we receive the same training once we get um, hired on with Life Force, the yeah. same training as the paramedics. A moment ago, Marsha's guest talking about 50 years, you know, they've been training nurses there. Would you encourage young men or young women to go into the nursing profession? Yes, I would. It's a very enjoyable profession. Yeah, you too, Jerry? Yes, sir. Yeah, good. Good, great. Well, you folks are going to soon be flying over North Georgia, Life Force 3. Uh, I, guess, I guess people, what? well, of course, emergency people call them, will call you if you're needed for something, right? It's not something that I can pick up the phone and call for or anybody else. Correct. They have to do it. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Do well. Thank you. A Christmas drink that's always had me puzzled. You ever thought about eggnog?